Yesterday I left off talking about the quick claim concept and how two people can become energetically connected as a result of that. What happens when we become energetically connected with another? Can an energetic connection happen even without meeting the person physically? What happens when we do have an energetic connection? Like what happens to us when we experience such a thing? We are energetically connected somebody else we begin to experience their moves, their energy level, their elements. Their toys. Their meeting the other person that's in that connection to us. If that other person, for example, had a sleepless night, we might feel it ourselves. We might feel like we haven't gotten any sleep, even though we might have slept fairly well the night before. The next day, we'll feel like, well, damn, where's this feeling coming from? I feel like I haven't got any sleep. Well, perhaps it's because that person we're already technically connected with did not get any sleep. We're feeling it. We may be on edge that day for no apparent reason. Well, it could be that other person had some experiences that made them very angry that day. We might feel it. It's, so that's what happens when we become energetically connected to another. It passes back and forth, even though the people may not be in direct communication. Two people begin to experience one another's energy as their own almost. If somebody, uh, the other person, for example, has a digestive problem, that other individual in that connection may feel it. Um, the energy passes back and forth. This is irrespective of time or distance. It doesn't matter how far apart the two people are physically. So how do we know if it's not our own, but our, the other in the connection that we're feeling? Well, we know because if we, we feel like we haven't gotten any sleep and yet we slept pretty well the night before, but yet we still, then we, you know, start to ask, well, is this person we're going to be energetically connected with? Maybe they didn't get any sleep last night. Or we had a digestive issue, or maybe that person we normally don't. But we somehow did, or we now are having more of that more often. Well, that maybe that other person has a problem with that. We're picking up on that energy. So the energy passes back and forth between the two people, but it isn't even usually. It happens more on a less conscious, direct level, it seems. 
This energetic connection doesn't necessarily isn't necessarily combined with planes. It can be any two people. Better share a similar frequency. And I believe this could happen even if the interaction hasn't been face to face. If not. If you're on a similar frequency with that other person, you can invariably become energetically connected with that person through even an indirect interaction. So passing back and forth and energy between the two. One person may be having a great day and that other person may absorb that energy, that positive energy from the other. It's not just negative, it's also positive. It kind of goes back and forth. Today is to continue south on I 15 down through Utah. A little piece of Arizona to Nevada. Vegas or not today, and my delivery is scheduled for 3 p.m. tomorrow in Long Beach, California, so we're going to try to make it to Las Vegas out of today if possible. I don't know if I'll make it that far. This load is pretty heavy. There are some that I do have to climb. I'm not used to them, but it's enough to slow me down.
So far, traffic is moving okay. Nothing like coming up this way a couple days ago when I was delayed considerably for two major accidents. Yesterday, um, I spent the night, uh, as I said in the last video, I was going to spend the night in Freeman's head and I decided to take a hike or a walk to the nearby mountains and do some exploring. Somebody was nice enough to give off me a ride to where I wanted to go. I cut off a couple of miles. He gave me the chance to hike up to the uh, ancient shoreline of Old Lake Montville. Do some exploring along the uh, former shoreline of the lake. Several hundred feet up above the floor of the valley, so the lake is very deep in ancient times. Covered the entire valley. So I did some exploring, I found some boulders that appear to have been part of the ancient shoreline. Of that lake. I wanted to go up even higher than that. There was, there was a trail that continued on up higher, but it was already 5 o'clock by then. I knew I had a six mile walk to get back, so yeah, I ended up only spending maybe 20 minutes up there. And hiked back down. Thank <laughs> you. 